Hello everybody and welcome to another Codices programming video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about F and R triggers in Codices and ladder logic diagram. Sometimes in our program, we want to use a signal only once to, for example, activate an input. In other words, we want to make that input activated only once and for a program cycle. And after that, the input must be inactive. But the problem is that our signal remains on and it causes the input to remain active for more than one program cycle. For example, I insert an add function from math operation. This function adds 1 to the variable sum when the input enable is activated. So we want the output to be 1 after the first activation and then 2 after the second one. And so each time 1 is added to the sum. I add a switch in visualization associated with input enable to see the performance of this function better. Let's simulate and see what happens. As you can see, by activating the input, the function is activated and remains active. So the addition operation is performed several times. This operation occurs very fast and is repeated in each program cycle, which is in the range of milliseconds. In this case, program cycle is 20 milliseconds and every 20 milliseconds, one is added to our value. So we cannot solve this problem by quickly turning off the input. For this problem, we can use R and F triggers in codices. R trigger detects a rising edge of a Boolean signal, and F trigger is used to detect a falling edge. When a signal is activated, this falling and rising edge will be detected and input will be uh, activated only once. Let's see what positive and negative edge means. If you look at this signal, it starts from zero, goes to high or one, and after a while goes again to zero or low state. A rising edge or positive edge is the low to high or zero to one transition. And a falling edge or negative edge is the high to low or one to zero transition. The basic of the F and R triggers in this video is these two digits, one and zero, and they are changing. I insert an R trigger into our program to see how it works. Press enter to declare it. To clock, our input is connected. When a rising edge is detected in the clock, the output will be on for a program cycle. Let's simulate. Login with download. Now our input is zero or false and we want to make it one. 
Our trigger will detect this uh, change from 0 to 1 and its output will be activated only for a program cycle. It happens in uh, 20 milliseconds, so we can't see it. You see the sum was 0, but now it's 1. Each time we activate the input, 1 is added to our value. The other trigger is F trigger. This trigger is like R trigger, but its output will be activated when we change the input from 1 to 0. I insert another add function The input is false, I make it true. 1 is added to the sum, but sum 2 is still a 0, because F trigger detects a signal change from 1 to 0. Now I turn off the input. 1 to 0 change is uh, detected and sum 2 is now 1. You see, with each rising edge, sum is increased by 1, and with falling edge, 1 is added to sum 2. Okay, that was all about rising and falling triggers in codices. With these functions, you can use falling and rising edge in your program. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write a comments below. See you in the next video.